Okay, hey, this is my first vlog. I've always wanted to do this. It's just I never had access to a camera until last night when I was explaining to my sister what a vlog was. And she's kindly let me borrow her camera. So I spent a good majority of last night figuring out how everything worked. And I think I got it down all right. So this is kind of, I guess you can consider a pilot vlog to see if uh, everything's worked out okay. I really wanted to do this because a lot of people on Blogger, that uh, a lot of people that I follow do vlogs and they always look like a lot of fun. And I think sometimes being able to see the interactions, being able to see that person really kind of gets a better understanding of them than you do in writing. As much as I love writing, it can be very hard because you really can't get the tone of what somebody is thinking. You can write something down and you there are a hundred different ways it could be coming off as. It can be coming off as kind, it can be coming off as harsh, it can be coming off as sarcastic. So I think doing vlogs as part of blogging is a really, really good idea. I've been blogging. I've had my website for five years. So yeah, my five year anniversary is coming up. I think that's the longest I've ever had a website, but I love it and I love writing. One of my goals this year, not really resolution, but one of my goals is to post more. Um, last year, I think I only had a sum total of 60 posts. The year before it was 111. So at the same time, the year before last, I was actually part of a lot of tags and uh, I also took uh, took part in a lot of blog parties as well, so that was really fun. And so I'm kind of looking forward for um, tagging season, as I call it, uh, to start. And I, I call it that because I've noticed that a lot of the tags that we get um, normally come between about January and April because there's really nothing to do between that time span. So that's when people start really kind of sending out the the tags a lot and I do know of um, some people who do their tags through video blogging and that's a cool idea too so if I do end up getting some I might end up doing that. About me, I was born in Virginia, I still live here and I absolutely love it. I'm one of ten children, there's nine biological children and then we have one foster child. I was homeschooled my whole life and I really enjoyed it. There's pros and cons to it, but if it were really to come down to it, I would rather have been homeschooled than to face going to public school or even private school. I'm in college now, which I also love. Next semester should be my last semester and then I'll be transferring hopefully to another college. As of right now, I'm taking my last few classes. I'm in a psychology and a sociology class. I'm a, in a study of world religions class. I will be taking a music class soon and I'm in a biology class and that is probably gonna be my hardest one but I passed the last one with a B, so hopefully I might be able to get through this one. I have a lot of good lab partners. What I like to do in my spare time, here's the thing, I have too much time on my hands. I've had a hard time trying to find a job. I'm fairly good with people. It depends on the type of people, but primarily I do a lot of babysitting and nanny work. I have a part-time job as a nursery worker um, at my old church. Uh, I work in the nursery for the homeschooling group, so I take care of all the young children, which I love, and I just kind of do random on and off babysitting jobs, which I do enjoy, but by the time I graduate, I would probably like to get a job, hopefully in a bookstore or in um, even a newspaper office. We have one in downtown Suffolk and I've always wanted to try working down there. Um, when I was little I used to want to be a journalist. I wanted to be like Lois Lane, which is kind of silly now, 
Uh, I always wanted to kind of know the atmosphere of working in a place like the Daily Planet. I always thought that would be cool. And after a while that kind of wore away, but then, <laughs> this is so embarrassing, after watching Smallville, uh, it really kind of ignited that love of possibly being a writer and a journalist. I've always wanted to be a writer, either a novelist or a journalist or whatever, but I like writing in my spare time. I don't think I would really want to take it up professionally. I started writing primarily with fan fiction. I started out with a um, Chronicles of Narnia fan fiction, which became very popular. Then it just kind of went off from there. I wrote another Narnia fan fiction. I've written several Narnia poems. You're beginning to see a, a trend here with what I like. I also started writing, this was, wow, this would have been four years ago, writing a um, Harry Potter fan fiction, which was really well received, and then I just stopped, you know, right in the middle of it. So I need to get that done. And then I was planning on writing a Thor fan fiction, but the storyline, my characters, my plot really weren't that solid, so I, I kind of had to put that off for a while. And I'm getting that kind of more or less working on that one. So I do enjoy writing and I love reading. I love the Harry Potter books. They're probably my favorite book series. My, uh, the, the book series that I have is just like some of the books are just almost worn away, like the fourth book. There's like nothing left of it because people have read it so many times. I also love the Chronicles of Narnia. I love Lemony Snicket. It's a great book series. That was another book series I got my family into. Growing up, I used to read the Elsie Dinsmore A Life of Faith books, uh, which I've always enjoyed, as well as the books about her cousin, Millie Keith, and then the branching off of uh, the series, the Violet Travilla series, which was about her daughter. Those were originally not written by Martha Finley, but Violet was such a popular character that they kind of created a new book series for, uh, you know, a, another modern day audience. So I've always loved the Elsie Dinsmore books and more than once I've wanted to do a post on Elsie and really kind of the, the person that she is and kind of characters in her life like Edward Travilla. Anybody who's read those books, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only girl that fell in love with him. I thought Edward was amazing. What else do I like to read? Oh, I've gotten into several Frank Peretti books. I read both of his books, um, This Present Darkness and Piercing the Darkness, both of which were amazing, both of which kept me up at night. So if you do read those books, I guarantee you, do not read them at night. You will regret it. <laughs> but no, they're, they're very, very good. So I'm very eclectic with my reading. Um, I love going to the library and just kind of picking up whatever looks interesting. And when I'm not reading or writing, I'm normally watching TV. I watch a god-awful amount of television. It's probably not even healthy. I more or less watch movies, romantic comedies. I really enjoy those. My favorites would probably have to be The Nanny Diaries, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, New in Town, and what else do I have? Oh, Never Been Kissed, P.S. I Love You. So I, I, I like romantic comedies because they generally just make fun of romance. I think that's what I love about them. And I have a lot of series. A lot of I have the whole Harry Potter series. I have all the Lord of the Rings series. I'm building up on the Hobbit series. So my DVD collection and my family, everybody kind of has their DVD collection, which they start when they're about 12 or 13. And my DVD collection takes up like three bookshelves. I have so many DVDs and I watch a lot of uh, television series as well. Downton Abbey being my favorite. Of course, it's my favorite BBC. Uh, also followed by Robin Hood, which I've gotten into and which I absolutely love. Robin Hood is, is great, which is interesting because I wasn't expecting to like it because I had just gotten done with watching season two of Arrow and so I was like, I want to watch Arrow, I want to watch Arrow, and we didn't have any access to season three. And my mom kind of between finishing season two and waiting for season three, my mom got Robin Hood. And I kind of sat down and watched the first episode, and then I watched the second episode, and then by the third episode, I just like, oh my gosh, I gotta finish this series. So it was really strange, kind of, after, you know, watching 
Arrow, which is kind of a superhero version of Robin Hood. Then we go and watch the actual legend and kind of comparing and contrast the two the two characters. It was very interesting. So I love Robin Hood and I started buying that. I also love Call the Midwife, which is an amazing series. I mean, really just neck and neck up there with Downton Abbey. It's incredible. And there was another BBC series that has completely slipped my mind. Or maybe that's all of them. Doctor Who, of course, I love. I haven't seen all of it, but I will get around to watching that. And of course, my CW fandoms from the CW network, Vampire Diaries, absolutely. Smallville, Arrow, of course, and then Supernatural. I'm at the beginning of season four of Supernatural, so we've just met Cass the Angel. And I've heard mixed reviews about him. It's like some people hate him, some people love him. So he's really one of the reasons I've gotten into season four really kind of make my opinion about him and that's really it for now with my likes and my dislikes and kind of what I like to do like I said this is kind of a pilot <laughs> not like I'm making a series out of it if you remember maybe about six or seven years ago all the celebrity kids that were making their series uh, and they really didn't do anything at all just jump around and really didn't talk about anything intelligent but what do you expect when they're celebrities they get paid to do it so we'll leave right now and see how this turns out and post it and if people like it um and if I still like it I will keep doing more so thank you